Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are, whatever you're doing. It's uh, it's Sunday morning and I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little bit hungover. Uh, I went out for sushi and cocktails yesterday to celebrate my birthday, which was super fun. M my birthday sometimes kind of feels like New Year's Eve sometimes, like I just feel like it's a time of reflection and a time of like, <clears throat> a time for goal setting and stuff like that. So um, I was lying in bed this morning and I was thinking like, what do I wanna do today? And what I want to do with my Sunday that's going to make me feel productive and that's going to bring joy into my life, bring happiness into my life. And I got to thinking that like I haven't really been motivated at all to um, make any YouTube videos lately. Like I don't know why that is. I don't know if it's just because I'm not really like inspired by my space or like I'm not really sure what it is. I have so many ideas. I have like notepads and spreadsheets and like all these ideas and suggestions that I think would make really, really cool videos, but I just never do it. <laughs> I think it's because I've had so much going on in my life, like with work and uni and stuff like that. I just haven't really had the mental capacity to make any beauty videos. I have to really be in the mood. I just sometimes feel like I have to be so perfect in a video, like I have to be perfectly tanned, and my hair has to be perfect, and my makeup has to be perfect, and the lighting in the background, and blah, blah, blah. like it's just like, I just feel like I have to be perfect all the time to make videos and I really just want to like get over myself and get past that need to be perfect all the time and just kind of be like you know what who cares like this I am who I am this is who I am and I honestly believe that most people don't expect me to be perfect but for some reason I put that expectation on myself so this is me trying to get over myself and just make a video and have fun. Um, so yeah, I thought I would just kind of get back into it by making a vlog. Um, the last video I made about like cleaning and organizing and motivation uh, was really popular. So I thought I'd give this another try. So my plan for this video is I am going to rearrange all of the furniture in my beauty room. Um, I'm basically just gonna swap the whole room around and then I'm hoping it will just like flow a bit more and I'll have a different background and it will just feel like a different space. Hopefully I will be motivated to make some new videos because I've got lots of new makeup, I've got lots of new products, like really exciting, amazing products that have been given to me by my friends for my birthday and also stuff that I've purchased myself. And I just really wanna share them. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video of my beauty room. It's, I'd say it's a transformation, reorganization. Um, hopefully it motivates you, uh, hopefully it relaxes you and entertains you. Let's get started. Up we go. Let's go. So, looking at the room to start off with, in this corner I have a spare chair um, and I also have my hairstyling tools here in front of my mirror. Um, hey. <laughs> um, then in this corner I have my vanity, which is covered in jewelry and hair extensions at the moment. In this corner I have the lamp. I really want to use the lamp more. I feel like it's such a beautiful lamp and it just kind of hides in the corner back here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave these white shelves uh, in place here and then I'm going to take the two sets of gold shelves and actually move them. So from where I'm standing now in front of me I'm going to put the gold shelves on either side of that window and I'm also going to hopefully try and add some curtains. So I think that will look really really cool in this space over here. I'm not quite sure if I want to use the desk, uh, that vanity sorry, and put it in front of the windows or whether I want to put the lamp in front of the windows. I'll have to make up my mind. Then I'm going to take the mirror and put it where these gold shelves are and then where I'm standing I'm going to put my desk and my lights and everything. Okay, so um, I have moved all of the furniture around and I've completely switched the room around and I'm feeling really, really good about it. I think now I'm at the stage where I just need to decide where 
like what I want on each of the shelves and what I want on the table. So I'm thinking for this part of the room, I really want to put some flowers here and just have this be like a really pretty lifestyle backdrop. I think I'll keep the sunglasses there. I think I'll keep the makeup brushes. I've got some perfume bottles, which I thought would look really, really nice, especially if um, the light is coming through and they're really nice and transparent. I've got handbags. I've got hair, hair styling bits and pieces here. I've just got quite a bit outside hiding in there as well. Um, but I am really happy with how this looks. Another thing I forgot to say, I've actually purchased some white transparent curtains to put in this area of the room. I think I'm going to roll this up and then hang them from there so they're like draped and flowy and I can open the windows and it's like nice and breezy. I think that would just like bring a really nice vibe to the room. So yeah, very happy with that. And then if we move to this area of the room, then for the side of the room, I have decided this is where I want my mirror. I think this is still a really nice spot for it. I have nice light from the uh, lamp above. I have a cute lamp behind me and then I'll also have the light coming in from the windows. <sighs> it's really hot by the way. After all that lifting I'm really hot. Um, but then for this side of the room I actually really like these shelves here. I'm just going to keep these here. It's really uh, functional for me and I really really like how that's set up. So this is going to be my workspace and this is going to be my filming space. So I've got my ring light there but I'm actually going to set the lights up all behind this desk. So let's do that. open these so I thought we could open these together oh, that was such an anti-climax should we try this way never mind okay let's shut this away and here we go I've got my trusty little sewing kit here so that we can sew them onto the rail The purpose of these curtains is so that the window can be part of my background, but I don't want everyone to know what street I live on, you know, because of privacy. So I'm hoping that if I put this up, it will block out enough of the window, but I can't really show you that. Okay, so I figured out what I'm gonna do. I am going to wrap this fabric around the rod, sew it, and then I'm going to like gather it like this. So it kind of have these, has these like pleated, you know, pleated folds, which I think will help to disguise, uh, which I think will help to block out the background more than just layering up two layers of this. So let's do that. <laughs> I feel like this works. of where I would be sitting. I think that the shelves look good and I think that those curtains really helped to diffuse the light coming through the windows and you can't really see exactly what's behind me and I think that that looks really nice. So hmm, I think this might have worked. I think I had like a cool little hack. I'm really pleased with that. So now I just have the fun task of ah, putting everything on those shelves and deciding how I want it to look. I've got a lot of stuff on this table and I don't know where I'm going to put it. I've got a lot of stuff on the floor and I don't know where I'm going to put that either. So I think, hmm, what am I going to do? <sighs> Thirsty. Mm. As I said before, my vision is like lifestyle background, flowers, perfume bottles, just like bright and like clean and fresh. Um, I'm just going to go for it. <laughs> 
Okay, we're back. Um, so before I add anything to that table, I'm just gonna quickly wipe it down with some detail wipes just to make sure everything's clean because you know me, I'm a bit of a clean freak. Especially after COVID, I'm just like, I have this really good habit now of making sure that everything is disinfected and clean all the time. And these wipes are awesome. And then I thought something cool to add to the shelves would be this glass skull that I have. Um, I actually went for cocktails recently and we kept this. <laughs> so I thought this would look really, really cool on the shelves. Uh, and then also I have this green vase that's made of glass. I thought we could put some pink flowers in that. I also bought up these hydrangeas from downstairs and I thought these would look really, really nice on this table too. So if I just pop those there and then... Is that cute? Does that look good? I think that's cute. And then I have some pink and peachy colored. Then I have these pink and peachy colored flowers, which I thought would look super cute. Those here. Is that fresh? Oh my God, I'm so lifestyle. <laughs> I'm loving how this is looking so far. I'm gonna keep decorating. Uh, once I finish, we'll do a quick run through of the room. Okay guys, here we are. I'm just gonna take my glasses off because it reflects the ring light in front of me. All right, so here we are with our final setup. I think this looks really, really cute. I love the shelves in the background and I love that bright window bringing in light behind me. And also now I can have all three of my big lights for videos. Because the last few videos I've made, I've actually just been using my ring light. Um, and I feel like I was looking at back on some of my other photos and I was like, man, it just looks so much better when you have all three lights. So I'm really pleased to have those up. So I think what I'll do now is I will take you through what I've done on each of the shelves. Right, so as I was saying, I have a handbag at the top. I've got my sunglasses collection. Then I have two very beautiful uh, coffee table books that are so aesthetically pleasing. I've got Chanel, I've got Dior. Then I've got my favorite perfumes. So this purple one here is by Tom Ford. This is called Velvet Orchid, and that is actually my wedding day perfume, and I love it so much. Then I've got Chanel number five. I've been wearing this a lot lately. I get so many compliments whenever I wear this. I feel like it really, really suits me, and it's just so classic then i've got gucci which is my favorite springtime uh fragrance this is just so light and fresh and i'm obsessed it's perfect at this time of year and then i just got this one from jay for my birthday this is from focus this is from the armani range this is a very new perfume and he actually picked this up for me in dubai and it smells divine i feel like a very expensive woman when i wear that fragrance then below i kept my makeup brushes and uh my favorite pairs of shoes looking at the table in the center um, i bought some flowers up and i added a couple of candles and that's my laptop in the middle um, i just thought if i'm studying and i want to be in front of like a nice bright space it would be really good especially now with the evenings being brighter then on this side let's start from the bottom um, I've got my YSL handbag. Um, this is actually a vintage bag, but I keep all my hair extensions in it and it looks really cool with these shelves with the white and the gold. Then I added a photo of myself with my bridesmaids, a gift from my bridal shower, my favorite watch and my favorite jewelry. And then I've got this cool candle pen and glass skull and then more handbags up the top. So let me know what you guys think of my new beauty room setup. I feel freshly inspired. I feel motivated to make beautiful videos in this beautiful space. Um, I actually have lots of new stuff um, that I really, really want to use in beauty videos and share with everyone. I've actually got three eyeshadow palettes from Urban Decay. So I've got this one, this, this is called Honey. Um, I've also got this one called Cherry. And then a new one that I got, this one is called Cyber, and they all look amazing. I've been using Honey and Cherry um, for work looks, and they are beautiful, and I really, really want to share some looks. I also need to do a video dedicated to the Rose Quartz palette. I still haven't made a video on that yet, and I don't know why. I also have a very, 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 very special um, eyeshadow palette here. This is a Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. And this is the Mothership Mega Celestial Odyssey eyeshadow palette. I'll make a video for this. I'll tell you the story on it. It's long. <laughs> um, I also have this set from 
I also have this set from YSL that one of my girlfriends gave me for my birthday. And um, I have this really cool DIY eyelash extensions kit that I bought from Amazon. And I thought it would be so fun to do a video on giving myself eyelash extensions. Um, let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. I think it would be a really fun um, project to try out. And then skin products that I've been using that are new that I love so much at the moment is this Hard Candy Hydrating Primer. This is friggin' phenomenal. I'm obsessed with that. And then also I really love the, this is called the L'Oreal Shake and Glow Luminous Setting Spray. This is beautiful. Those two combined with like a really nice lightweight creamy um, foundation makes my skin look so juicy and glowy and dewy and just like amazing. Um, I don't know what video I'm gonna make first. Um, I'm probably not gonna make anything this week or this weekend because I'm going to Paris. But I think once I get back, um, then I will be back into the swing of things with filming and making videos. Um, let me know if you guys have any suggestions or recommendations of the types of videos that you would like to see me make. I'm literally open to anything and I'm willing to give most things a try. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. And uh, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.